We're going to keep it short today. I was inspired to talk about this week's subject by a question asked in the Close Brace Weekly Keybase team's chat channel. Let's talk a little bit about the plus plus and minus minus operators, along with plus equals. I imagine most of the people reading this have used plus plus at the very least, since it shows up in a ton of for loops, like this, which will log 0 through 9 in the console. Let's take a look. No surprises there. If you need me to do a complete tutorial on for loops, please let me know. What's interesting about these increment operators, though, is that you can change the order of the operator and get differing results. Not in a for loop, but in other usage. Here's an example. Oh, and I'm going to start putting in separators to make the console a little bit easier to read in these videos. So you can see from the comments that this is going to do something slightly unexpected. So this seems weird, right? We've incremented a, so why is b still 15? The answer is because if the operator is after the variable, it happens after the assignment. So basically that code is going b equals a, then add 1 to a. This is one of two reasons, the other being differing behavior when it comes to automatic semicolon insertion, which maybe we'll talk about in another tutorial, that a lot of linting configurations recommend using plus equals 1 instead of plus plus, or minus equals 1 instead of minus minus. But there's nothing inherently wrong with sticking to the operator so long as you understand how it works. Here's what to do if you want to get the incremented or decremented value into your new variable. This should give us 19, 21, 20, 20. And it does. As you can see, the operator is always running on R, which is how we end up with it at 19. 20 plus 1, minus 1, minus 1. But the value our other variables get depends on whether we put the operator before or after R. Let's do one more, where we log our base variable as we're modifying it, just to be clear. So we should get 84, 84, 85, 86, 86, 86, 85. Let's try it. 84, 84, 85, 86, 86, 86, 85. Pretty simple, right? But a really important thing to be aware of while coding. If you're going to use math operators that increment and decrement your numbers, be aware of their positioning. That's it for this week. We'll be back with something a little more complex next time. See you then.